Keep. Well, tonight, I just want to start by uh, warning people that the footage that we will show you has been released by the police, but uh, some of the images you might find are disturbing in this. First of all, it's from the police in uh, Bremen who have released uh, footage now appealing for witnesses to come forward after the right-wing uh, member of the Alternative for Germany party, that's uh, Frank Magnitz, was attacked on Monday night. Now, the image I'm about to show you now, it's a compilation of two images, one of which was released by his party. We have just made a, an edit here. There is an open wound on his head that we, uh, we won't be showing you there. But you can see uh, facial injuries uh, to the uh, German politician. And immediately after this attack took place, there was condemnation from both sides, but particularly from members of Alternative for Germany, uh, including um, uh, Alice Videl here, who says that this was a... Uh, uh, she calls it uh, an assassination attempt, but overall, alternative for Germany, saying the attack politically motivated. Well, the police certainly not ruling that out by any means, but now they are trying to get to the bottom of this and have released uh, the footage of the attack, which does seem to ever so slightly differ from the account given by alternative for Germany. Well, it's a bit of a grainy picture, but here is Frank Magnitz walking back on Monday night. He's pursued, as you can see, by two individuals here who pull up uh, seemingly hoods uh, and cover their faces. Then, uh, and just to warn you, this is the moment of the attack we now see on the camera. Mr. Magnitz walks further along this alley and is pushed to the ground. Now, where this differs from the account by the AFT, well, they said he was kicked repeatedly and hit with a piece of wood. It seems rather that the individuals pushed him to the ground and then made a quick getaway and that most of his injuries came from the fall. But either way, you can see a very disturbing attack. Now, police issuing this video to clear up exactly what happened and to try and find who was responsible. Now, it is worth saying at this stage, of course, very strong condemnation from Alternative for Germany. They feel that they are being politically attacked now, blaming it on a general uh, anti-right-wing politics hysteria. They, they blame the media for fueling this sort of feeling against them. But a condemnation, as I say, coming from all sides in Germany, including the spokesperson uh, for Angela Merkel. Let's just bring this up uh, uh, from uh, Stefan uh, Siebert here, if I can bring this down for you condemning it, saying all political violence must be condemned. But certainly what we're seeing here is an attempt by the German police to urge calm and to try and find those responsible to get an answer about exactly why they attacked Mr. Magnitz. He himself now uh, has uh, been reported to have checked himself out of hospital. But Janat, you can see deeply uh, political this has become because obviously the nature of Mr. Magnitz's politics, well, his party say that was why he was targeted. But investigations continue.